Hi, this is Munson with Munson Music, and we're going to talk about how you can play a song called Green Onions by Booker T and the MGs. And it starts out, we're going to start out talking about chords, and then we'll talk about a couple of licks that are in, in the song. But it's going to start out on an E minor chord, and the way you play E minor, first finger is going to go to the A on the second fret, second finger is going to go to the D string on the second fret, and if you strum all those together, that sounds like E minor chord, and it sounds really, really sad. And then from the E minor, actually our intro is going to just be four E minors. And then after that, our, our, kind of our main form is going to start on, on four E minors. And then from the E minor, we're going to go to an A minor chord. And the way you play A minor, the first finger is going to go to the B string on the first fret. The second finger is going to go to the D string on the second fret. And the third finger is going to go to the G string on the second fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds like A minor chord and it sounds really, really sad. And then from the A minor, we're going to be going back to E minor. And then do it another E minor. And then we go to a B7 chord or B dominant 7. The way you play B7, first finger is going to go D string on the first fret. Second finger is going to go A string on the second fret. Third finger is going to go the G string on the second fret. And the pinky is going to go to the high E on the second fret or the skinny E on the second fret. And with the B7, you want to strum just the A string to the high E string. So you want to try to avoid the, the thick E. And sometimes I'll actually kind of take my second finger and just kind of run it into it. So just in case I miss it, I just won't hear that note. And then from the B7, we're going to go back to A minor. And then we're going to go back to E minor. And another E minor. So those are all the chords that we need. And a lot of times with a song like this, to make it more interesting, I like adding something called a strum pattern to it. And my favorite 4-4 four, four strum pattern for a song like this is down, down, up, up, down, up. So we just took the E minor and just tried that a lot. You have down, down, up, up, down, up, E minor, down, down, up. that through our, our form, you know, the E minor down, up, up, down, E minor down, down, up, up, down, E minor down, down, up, up, down, E minor down, down, up, up, down, A minor down, down, up, up, down, A minor down, down, up, up, down, E minor down, down, up, up, down, E minor down, down, up, up, down, E seven down, down, up, up, down, E minor down, down, up. attractive part of, of this song in particular is actually some of the licks and the cool the cool one that kind of starts it kind of starts open E and then we're gonna go second on the D and then open D and then fourth fret on the A and then second fret on the A so you got O2 O4 2 and the note you're actually playing you're going E E D C sharp B E E D C sharp B. And one thing that, that happens a lot in a tune like this is that lick's kind of getting sequenced or started from a different note. And when you hit the A minor chord, you end up doing the open A and then going to second fret on the D string or on the G string and then the open G and then fourth fret on the D and then second fret on the D. So we kind of shifted everything by one string. You got open A, second fret on the G, open G, fourth fret on the D, second fret on the D. The notes you're playing, you're actually going A, A, G, F sharp, E, A, A, G, F sharp, E. And then if you're following the form, you'd go back to the E lit where we had the open E, E, D, C sharp, B, open E, E, D, C sharp, B. And then when it gets to the B chord, that lit kind of changes to second fret on the A, and then fourth fret on the G, and then second fret on the G, and then first fret on the G, and then fourth fret on the D. So you got kind of B to B to A, G sharp, F sharp. So two on the A, four on the G, two on the G, first fret on the G, fourth fret on the D. Two, two, or two, four, two, one, four. And then you kind of be back to your A lick. And then you'd be back to your E lick where you got O, two, O, four, two, O, two, O, four, two. So those licks are kind of following our form, so we try that all the way through. You start with the E lick, E lick, E lick, E lick. Then we kind of shift strings for the A licks. Then you got the open A, two, O, four, two, open A, two, O, four, two. And then you're back to the E lick. Open, two, O, four, two, open E, two, O, four, two. And then we got the big B lick where we're going two, four, two, one, four. And then we got the A.
then a really cool bass lick kind of comes in around that with that same form where on the E you'd be doing the open E and then doing it two more times and then going third fret on low E and then open A. So you got open E, open E twice, third fret on low E, open A, and you're playing an E, 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 G, A, E, 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 G, A, E, 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 G, A, and then when you get to the A chord, it kind of changes to, to open A with that three times, and then third fret on the A, and then open D. So now you're going A, 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 C, D, A, 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 C, D, and then if you're following the form, you'd be back to the E lick going E, 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 G, A, E, 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 G, A, and then the B lick kind of becomes second fret on the A twice for the B note, or three times, and then you go open D, and then second fret on the B. So you got two on the A for B, 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 open D, second fret on the D for E. Back to the A, O, 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 3, O, and then you go back to the E, O, 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 3, open A, E, 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 G, A. So that's kind of cool to kind of take those licks and kind of use those when you're covering it. One other weird thing is instead of playing Green Onions in, in E minor, a green, the um, Booker T and the MGs are actually playing in an F minor. Um, so what you want to do to play along with the recording is if you take a capo, and kind of do it on the first fret across the entire uh, guitar, then now your E minor is really an F minor, your A minor is really a B flat minor, and your B7 is really a C7 chord. So just to try that with, with our strum patterns reverse, we'd have the E minor with the down, down, up, up, down, E minor, down, down, up. Song, there's some really cool solos, and one, one scale that you could use the solo with would be a well, we'd be thinking about it as an E minor pentatonic scale, but because of the capo, you'd actually be playing an F minor pentatonic scale. But that basically would be F notes and A flat notes, and B flat notes, and C notes, and then E flat notes, and then uh, F notes. So, if we tried that through, through across the guitar, you'd take the low E and go open third, on the A, you'd have open second. On the D you got open second, on the G you got open second, and then on the B you got open in the third, and on the high you got open in the third. And that's something called pattern one of, of an E minor pentatonic scale, but we're, we're actually playing an F minor because of the capo. But you may want to try making up solos with that. You could kind of do pull-offs through that scale where you kind of play the note and pull off the string to kind of get the sound to carry back. So that could be a cool lick to try doing hammer-ons, or pull-offs. Off, so kind of hang in a three O. Um, hammer ons is another one where, where you would play the open string and kind of just put down the finger on the next string on the on the string to kind of get the sound to carry. So you could do pull offs, or you could do hammer ons to kind of make up stuff, um, or you could do bends where you kind of play the note and press into the guitar at the same time.
lot of things you can kind of play around with that scale. So you, so you may want to experiment with that too. If, if you're not used to lead playing, that can be a lot of fun to play around with pentatonic scale. So that's the basis of how you play Green Onion. So good luck!